and welcome to Tommy Talks TV, the place to be to build great love relationships. First of all, I'd like to start by thanking all of you for all your likes and your comments and your shares on Facebook and on Twitter. I really want to say I appreciate you and all the feedback that you're giving. It really, really blesses me to find that people are being encouraged by the things that I'm sharing. But much more than that, when you interact with the material, it helps the message go further, faster. And I really appreciate that because I believe that there's so many people out there that need to hear what we are sharing. Now, I'd like to also say that if you have not signed up yet at my blog, tommytalks.com, then please go go ahead and do so because then you receive weekly updates from me and not only that you'll be able to download my free ebook making love last forever so please head on to over to tommytalks.com and you'll be able to download your ebook and sign up for weekly updates now today i want to do something slightly different i want to answer a question which i was asked a few weeks ago when i was speaking at a seminar um, somebody asked the question how important is physical attraction and in order to be able to answer that question, I had to explain that attraction is in four different levels, which begins with physical attraction. So what I'm thinking about doing, what I'd like to do is to be able to share for the next four weeks on attraction so that we can understand how important it is in a relationship. So today I'm going to be starting with physical attraction, which is the base level. Physical attraction is usually where it all starts in a relationship. It's what sparks curiosity. It's what commissions an inquiry and makes you feel, hmm, perhaps I'd like to get to know this person better. Physical attraction is base level attraction. So it's zero level attraction, but nevertheless, it's important. Now we all like to think that we're so very spiritual and we don't look at the physical when we are drawn to somebody, but God said it all in the scripture when he said, Man looks on the outward appearance, but God sees the heart. So with all of us as human beings, God has put within us that propensity to first of all be attracted by what we see before we actually get closer to find out what that person is really all about. So the physical attraction does have a part to play in relationships, but we need to understand what part it's supposed to play. So. We cannot afford to say it's not important because if you're going to be waking up next to somebody for the rest of your life, you had jolly well better be physically attracted to them. Otherwise, it's not going to be a very exciting relationship. But on the other hand, we also need to understand that what you see is not always what you get. So you need to be careful not to make physical attraction any more important than what it was meant to be. It's just supposed to stare curiosity so you can actually look a little bit closer. We need to be able to trust God, to be able to look beyond just the physical and see other aspects of a person's personality. But what you also want to remember is that you don't want your physical appearance to be a roadblock or, you know, to prevent people from wanting to draw closer to you. So we need to value ourselves physically and take care of ourselves because that's where it all begins. And you don't want that to be a barrier to people getting to know you. So value yourself. It's not just about, you know, the looks per se, but it's about your smile. It's about the sparkle in your eye. It's about how you carry yourself. It's about how you take care of yourself because whether you like it or not, you're a walking message system. And everywhere you go, you're telling people about how you value yourself yourself by the way that you carry yourself. So physical attraction does have a part to play in a relationship, but it's just the icing on the cake. So don't get so carried away with physical appearance that you don't look a little bit closer to find out what that person is really all about. Well, I hope that has helped you. The next few weeks we'll be talking about the other levels of attraction. If you've learned something new today, then please leave me a message on Facebook or Twitter. And if you've got a question you would like me to answer, then head on over to tomitalks.com forward slash ask and I'll answer your question next time. See you next time. Bye-bye.